Hey everybody, Luke with One Thief Surplus, and today I'm going to walk you through step number one, part number one, of assembling the filby. And this will be how to put the shoulder harness on the frame. So, first you're going to do is lay it out like so. There's four uh, attachment points up top. There's these two here. Alright, you're going to take the frame, like so. These right here, and there's multiple ways of doing this, and this is the reason I'm breaking up into a multi-part series, <clears throat> is because not only do I want to show you how to put it together, but I want to show you how to be able to adjust it to uh, fit your particular body type. So, if you buy one of these assembled, you're still probably going to want to adjust it. We have one way that we assemble them that we feel fits the most, the widest variety of people, but you know we've sold these to people that are five foot two, and we've sold these to people that are you know seven foot two. So. There's a wide variety in, in um, fitment, uh, fitment issues that you might run into. So the way we assemble it is you stick the um, these ta this tab right here through and this tab on the other side uh, through this vertical hole here. You do both sides at the same time. There's a strap here that's going to come up through this hole on the outside. You're going to run it through both loops, tighten it down, and then tuck it back underneath. Now, there's a couple tips and tricks to this. One, I constantly work it back, and then I hold it with my finger here, and I pull it through to get a nice tight fit. Now, I'm going to take this one here, like so, and I'm going to run it through. Same deal. Pull it nice and tight, hold it with that finger, split the rings, and fit your strap back underneath that second ring. Um, of course, this is not as easy to do when I got the camera on, but once you get it through, go ahead and pull it tight and sense it down. Um, most of the issues that come from uh, Philby's, uh, you know, a lot of the complaints, um, are honestly because they are not assembled properly. And I'm doing the same thing on this side over here. I am going to slide these two through, pull them through. And I purposely didn't do that top one on the other side here, and I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm going to get this one through. Pull it tight. Um, if you don't get all this stuff tight, you're going to end up with a squeaky frame and a squeaky pack. Okay, if you if, if your pack starts exhibiting that kind of stuff, go back and recheck your uh, harnesses, your shoulder harnesses and hip belts. That's that's the two main areas where your pack is going to squeak. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Work the strap through, pull it tight, like so. Now, these straps here on the bottom side, you're just going to come up through. But before I do that, I want to show you something. On these packs, uh, a very common failure point is these load lifter attachment points. Okay, these often rip off. And we have developed a, a field repair kit for the Philby right here. And we've done a, a little walk around on it before on another video that I'll link uh, in the description. But specifically, we had these pigtails developed. And these pigtails are designed to fit through these rings. And you're going to fold this out as, tight as, you, or as flat as you can. And you would slide this through the rings here at the top. Make a loop. And you would tuck the buckle through and pull it through tight. And you would use these top rings here to uh, now become your new load lifters because they're a much uh, stronger attachment point. We're not gonna do that today because these are actually in good shape. Um, what we're going to do is go ahead and run the third strap through, like so. You're gonna pull it tight, cinch it down. Same thing on this side over here. You're gonna run that strap through. You are going to pull it tight. And cinch it down and there your shoulder harness is attached to the frame uh, what we're going to do now is grab a couple of the uh, lower straps out of the bin here because 
if I can find one. Here we go. All right. <laughs> nice. That won't work. Let me find another one here. Here we go. So, what you're going to do is in this uh, top outside hole right here on the frame, this is where your hip belt goes. On the top outside hole, I'm going to run this through. I'm going to take the buckle and I'm going to stick it through. I'm going to pull the running end all the way out and I'm going to cinch this sucker down nice and tight. Now, I'm going to take and slide it into the buckle here. You're going to have to undo the snap. That'll open the buckle, shove the buckle in, snap it back down, and there you have it. Now, if you were smart and you weren't like me, you wouldn't have just done that to the wrong side of the harness. But now you get to see it again. Buckle in, lock it down, snap it. Rotate the harness around. Same thing on this side. You're going to shove it through. Make a loop, pull the buckle through the loop, pull the running end all the way through. There you have it. Now, uh, some of the other things that you can do to adjust this shoulder harness on the frame is instead of running these through up here, I'm sorry, let me move this where you see it. Instead of running these through the top up here, you can actually move the entire harness up. And this is a this is a, a big adjustment, but you can run this loop through right here, okay? And then at that point in time, this will be run through, um, but the whole harness will be shifted up. That buys you an extra couple inches uh, at the top up here. Uh, and the same thing, you can actually shift it down on the frame as well. It's not ideal, but you can shift this down on the frame. You just have to find new holes to, to run everything through. So this is part two of our series on how to assemble the Philby. Right now we're gonna talk about the hip belt. There's two different ways you can put the hip belt on the frame. You can do it like a smiley face like this. You can see how it makes a curve. Looks like a smiley face, a mouth. Or you can make it a frowny face. Typically the rule of thumb we have is if you're uh, at 5'7 or taller, you wanna set it up as a, as a frowny face. And if you're, five, if you're, five, if you're less than 5'7, then, or you have a short upper torso, you want to do it as a smiley face, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with the frame upside down like so, and I'm going to, we assemble, when we assemble these, we assemble them as a frowny face for taller people, just because the average height, most of our customers are men, and their average height uh, of, a, of an American male is significantly taller than five foot seven, if I remember right, or five foot seven or taller, let me, let me rephrase that. So when we assemble them, we do assemble them with those people in mind. Um, but we are making these videos so people learn how to adjust their packs to themselves. Um, it is always the end user's responsibility to make sure their gear fits properly. Um, and we wanna show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these two straps here and you're going to run it through these first two holes. You're going to pick up the buckle on the inside and I understand this is kind of difficult to see but you're gonna run it through the back side of that buckle, closest to the uh, kidney pad here, and you're gonna bring it around and you're gonna come through the front of the buckle, making a loop. Now you don't wanna pull this too tight because you wanna make sure that your belt stays centered on the, uh, on the frame here. So when you come around to this side over here, you wanna have enough adjustment, enough slack left in there to push it over where it needs to go so your belt does not end up being off-centered. So now that we get this through here, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. It's uh, not rocket science, guys, but you know, um, as with the uh, shoulder harness, you want to make sure that you get everything nice and tight once it's once it's set up, because you'll end up with a squeaky pack if you don't, and nobody likes a squeaky pack. Or if you do, you're kind of weird. Anyways, um, now that now that we have this uh, centered up, I'm going to grab this side. And this side, I'm going to give it a good pull. Same thing with the bottom here. I'm going to pull it nice and tight. Now, next step, 
is we're going to shift this up just a little bit. You can hear that pop. That's nothing crazy. That's just it sliding down on the plastic pieces here. There's two metal D-rings on the inside here. Right here. You're going to grab these. Here, let me try and set this up a little bit for you so maybe you can see. This makes it a little more difficult for me, but... Uh, the same thing is with the shoulder harnesses. There's two D-rings. You're going to go underneath both of them. This is where I will actually cinch it up quite a bit so I can reach them. And then I'll split the D-rings and I will run the strap back underneath the first one. Which will allow me to cinch everything down. Now that one's done. I'm going to go through this hole here with this top strap. And I am going to... Do the same thing here. I'm going to pull it tight. Put my thumb here to hold it. It'll loosen that up and allow me to get some slack and get this strap underneath that D-ring. I call it a D-ring. I don't remember what these things are actually called. So don't 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 ding me on the the uh, nomenclature, guys. All right, that's cinched up nice and tight now, and you have a fully assembled. Philby suspension system. I hope this helps guys. Um, the next step is going to be actually putting the uh, pack itself onto the frame. This is the Philby main bag. It's about a 5,000 cubic inch bag. Um, really well designed actually for what it is. Um, you're going to start out with, uh, you know, these are the assault, uh, assault pack clips. You can kind of pull this up out of the way. This right here is the frame pocket. So the frame goes in here and these are going to go around the frame. You're going to have to have some um, compression straps that clip in here that are attached to the frame that go around the clip, and we'll cover all that in just a minute. First, we're going to grab the frame that we assembled, the suspension system we assembled in the previous video, and we are going to go ahead and tuck it into the frame pocket up here at the top. Um, there's the load lifter clips. You're going to want to make sure those are pulled up out of the way, like so. Now it's in the pocket, you know when you you know you have it uh, right when this piece of, uh, this, this tab right here, there's a handle right here, and there's a tab. That tab goes into the slot on the frame here, and you lock it into place. It helps hold the frame onto the pack. Next, you're gonna do it on this side as well. You're gonna do that as well. Uh, on this side here. Uh, this can be a little tight and a little tricky to do. Uh, some packs it drops right in, other packs it's kind of more of a pain. And this one, it's a tight fit. But there you go. Now that's done, you're going to take this, you're going to lay it down, like so. And there are these uh, two D rings here and a strap. It's going to go around the frame, it's going to go through. You're going to cinch it tight. You're going to tuck this uh, running in underneath here. Well, not pull it out like I just did. All right. You're going to cinch that down nice and tight. Same thing on this side over here. You're going to go through. You're going to go back through like so. You're going to pull it tight and pull that running end out. Now, this is a part where a lot of people forget. Okay, if you notice the pack is kind of floppy here, there's another one of these tabs. It goes in right here, like so. And you're going to reach underneath, and you're going to pull it tight. And you might need to help it from the back side here, like so. Now there's one on this side as well. You're going to take and push it through. Hold on, try to keep this in the camera for you. Not easy to self-film this stuff. All right, now the last thing you have to do is you have two buckles here. And a lot of times, honestly, this is easier to do uh, before you put the bag on, but also a lot of people run their packs without them. Your pack should come with two of these compression straps and they have two male buckles on them. What you're going to do is you're gonna lift the frame up and there's this big hole down at the bottom of the frame, right here. Sorry. I will turn this around for you, right here. So you're gonna take your strap, you're gonna poke it through the loop side, through that hole, 
like I said, now you can kind of see why this is easier to do before you put the hip belt on. Um, you're going to take your buckle. You're going to feed it through. This is a tight fit. Don't don't get uh, discouraged if you struggle with it. Um, those loops are made almost the exact same, almost the exact same width as the buckle, so it can be a tight fit. Once you get it all the way through, you're going to finish feeding the strap through. You're going to cinch it down nice and tight. And this buckle here, you're going to run all the way down. And on the back side of the pack here is a female buckle. You're going to connect those together. Now, this right here will go through this, this uh, strip of molly here. Like so. You're going to pull it through. There's another uh, strip of molly right here as well. You're going to pull it through there. And it's again can be a tight fit and then on the front of the pack here there's a buckle right above the zipper you're gonna do the same thing on both sides of the pack um, on this side as well you're gonna kind of force feed that loop up through the bottom of the frame here well y'all I apologize my camera flat out died on me and I just banged into it with the pack here too so anyways um, it, it died as I was fitting this through over here. Uh, the only thing I was going to tell you is a couple little tips and tricks for keeping your pack in, uh, up and running in the field. Here on the uh, lid, these uh, the closure buckles here are a very common failure point. And if you're in the field and this rips off, uh, the easiest it's going to rip off from inside here. These anchoring stitches will give way. Um, simply just take your assault pack buckle and turn it around. Just pull it down and that'll get you by. Um, honestly, this is, this is a stronger attachment point anyways, but I just wanted to include that so you could see a, a quick and down and dirty way of uh, keeping your, your pack up and running in the field. Also, this is where our um, field repair kit comes in really handy. I strongly suggest just keeping something like this in your pack, and that's why we put it in such a convenient little bag. If you're going on an extended trip, something like this, just throw it in the lid of your pack and it will keep you going um for quite a while in the field so hope y'all got something out of this um if you have any questions or comments leave them down below like share and subscribe and like like i always say go out today touch some grass spend some time in nature get outside get away from the the rat race and enjoy your life build some memories and y'all have a good one thank you very much for watching